This is your host, Road. Welcome back to Love It Games. We are playing some more of the Dark Picture Synthology, The Devil and Me today. We made it up to the house, and Charlie's losing his shit because he does not know where his cigarette So we're going to continue the story. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. We're going to see what we can get into. Have a wonderful day, and let's get right back to it. There we go. So you, that door's locked. Anything over here? What is with the weird, creepy breathing? So, I know you said it wasn't a thing, but that bank notice... You're fixating, which normally I applaud, but not about this. 180. I mean, you'd tell us if we were in danger of losing our jobs, right? It's television. Everyone is always in danger of losing their jobs. Sure, but... It's fine. Erin, please. I've squared it all with the network. We're still working on this final episode, and they're paying your salary, not me. Well, but... You have to let this go. We're fine, Erin, okay? Breaking down walls. Maze of Anxiety by Professor J.P. Hunter. Professor J.P. Hunter is an author and counselor with over 20 years of experience helping patients overcome their anxiety and panic attacks. Within this book, you will find a step-to-step -step guide designed to give you the tools needed to find the path out of the maze of anxiety. Following a unique monthly plan, you will learn anxiety-busting tips and tricks to incorporate into your busy life. Professor J.P. Hunter has helped thousands of people manage their anxieties, give them the confidence they need to break down the walls and tackle their demons. Based on Breaking Down the Walls, Navigating the Maze of Anxieties, National Bestseller. All of these are locked. Um, this doesn't make sense. Grantham de Met Architect. Okay. This with the floor doesn't make sense. Yeah, there's something else there. Cause look, there's another hall entrance thing here. These walls move. Something to pick up, something to look at. What's the numbering? Because that's 180 and it has no number. This wall doesn't make sense either. Or this one. Charlie, you're breathing so hard. From Grantham Demet to Joseph Morello Invitation. Dear Mr. Morello, thank you for allowing me to conduct you directly 
publisher said that you're very keen to hear from me. It seems that we have a mutual interest. In several years, constructing the ultimate homes tourist experience by faithfully creating the world's favorite hotel. We have not yet considered a man of your knowledge could provide insight that valuable before our official opening. Therefore, I invite you to visit the hotel for the weekend. The experience is designed to accommodate groups of five guests, so I, I extend the invitation to four friends or family of your choosing. You must insist that the invitation be kept confidential until the hotel is publicly announced. So please only invite guests that you trust to do so. I hope you can accept my invitation. Please reply with your attendance and four additional guests you'd like to bring. Should you accept, a limousine will pick you up. Your guest is 7 on Friday. Huh. Again, thanks. I'd be delighted to come on. I'm sure I can get my wife and two girls to join me. My brother Francis is in town at the minute, so I'll make five. I trust all of them. I'll lie in a spare of confidentiality. This place is fishy as fuck. Hey, Charlie. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. I... I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... assistant? A personal assistant? Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. I suppose I should be thankful it's just my cigarettes that are missing and not our gear. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? <laughs> Brad Fisher, Rachel Fisher, Jackie Fisher, her fiddles, Scott Thorne, Grace Fletcher. Wow. So it was literally 14 days before. These were just one day before. All right. So you literally have been killing people constantly. Wait, what was it again? Charlie Linnett, Kate Wilder, Jamie Pierrigan, Mark Nestor. E. Enan. I don't know if the last names are going to be important or not, but it's. We have it wrote down. Welcome. Mr. Hector Bunday. And I think you're choosing Twilight Prairie as residence for your mother. Lynn has already settled in well. We encourage visitors as often as possible. Linda Price.
be locked, locked. A lot of locked doors. Hey, maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Open, locked. One of the most unpersonal hotels I've seen. Where the keyholes can be unlocked using keys. the key yeah that was super fishy don't be one of those idiots who leaves it in the door either all right Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Atta girl. Good morning to you all. I'm Chester Bell. Assistant Director at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. At approximately 0530 local time, a team led by Special Agent Hector Monday and supported by law enforcement officers conducted a raid of a motel room just outside Birmingham, Alabama to apprehend Manny Sherman, the man known as the Beast of Arkansas. Using state-of-the-art psychological profiling techniques, Special Agent Monday and members of his task force not only identified their suspect, but predicted his movement with unerring accuracy. I'm delighted to say we have our man. Good. Oh, that was unsettling. Something about being stuck at a door and caught on fire. The walls in this building do not make sense. Miss Kelly Schroeder. Yeah, once again, I'd like to thank you for your incredible work you and your team achieved at the hotel. I'd like to extend my heartfelt condolences to the accident that befell the skeleton crew. The lake is nothing short of tragedy, and I part feel responsible. In honor of them, I spent the last several months applying finishing techniques to the hotel, and I would proudly say that we're almost ready to be open to the public. Please allow me to extend my sincere gratitude. I invite you and the rest of your team to join me at the grand opening, 7 p.m. Friday, November 17, 2017. Promise a spectacular evening with themed entertainment, including a barbershop quartet. I'm sure you'll agree that all the hard work was worth it. Sincerely, Richard Buchamp.
There's cigarettes. You got a bar. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, of course he wants exact change. Damn it. Get all the ghost orbs. Wow. An animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. will it be, Mr. Demet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet of smoke. The eyes are wrong. Figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Barman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. No fucking way. I don't suppose you've got any spare change back there, have you? Thought not. The eyes are so wrong. Next round's on me. Promise. Well, is there any change in there? Because you didn't grab anything. Those are open cigarettes. Oi. Oi. Those were his Life cigarettes. Would be so much easier with that in my jacket pocket. What? No. No, please. I'm having a really shit day, and you've just made it worse. Come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. <clears throat> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right, you. That's it. I'm going to go and get my key grip, and they are going to kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? Got some weird stuff going on. Hey, I had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. 
Just give me a sec, and then I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish, or both. We're hitting the golden hour. We should be able to find a good spot. <laughs> I don't know why you camera dorks call it that. It's 15 minutes at best. Yes and no, if you have the right reflector. 15 minutes at the most. <laughs> Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. How's the new place? It'll do for now. You like it? It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short-term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's... Mm, smart plan. You said I needed to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting you. No, just saying. The... I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or... Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion no-fly zone list. Yeah, you're probably right. So, since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? Yeah. I don't like how that... It's so limited. Yours doesn't have a door number either. Am I crazy or did we not come from this direction? The halls and the walls don't make sense. And I noticed that the doors aren't numbered everywhere. Why is it blurry as hell? Yeah, only certain doors, 183. 184. Whoa, there, Bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird ass rules. You're in 184. I'm in an unmarked room. Charles is in 180. Good 
there's something back here. People don't build hallways to be like this. Before I open that, why is this one on the ground? This house does not make sense. So if Dumev catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? So maybe we should take care. Probably. <laughs> oh. Let's get the fuck out of me. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue when he took away our phones like we were kind of teenagers? Was he the devil by Joseph Morell? The truth behind America's first serial killer. Since the book in 2002, Joseph Morrell has been fascinated by investigating serial killers and none have intrigued him more than H.H. H. Holmes. In his latest paperback, Morrell examines more than 15 years of his own research and writing, interpreting fact and fiction, providing evidence to the truth behind the historical case. America's first killer, was he the devil? A must for Morrell of fans, wrote Killers Magazine, it's an analyst of the worst nightmare. So the dude who wrote about H.H. H. Holmes, you had here literally one day before us. This takes me back. I used to carve the hell out of my desk in middle school. Rebel. <laughs> that's not a carving, that's something that hit it. Dude, what are you doing? That scared the shit out of me. Oops. It is a bloody, hairy book. First Deaths and Marriages. Mr. and Mrs. Robert Hall of Silver Springs announced the birth of the daughter of Marilyn on June 10th, the White Oak Hospital. Elon and Stephen Wright of North Park announced the birth of their son, Maurice, June 10th, at White Oak Hospital. On behalf of their daughter, Lucinda Monday, proud parents of George and Rain Monday of Silver Springs, announced the birth of their grandson, Hector... Wayland, June 11th at White Oak Hospital.
Look at this wallpaper. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the... Go Manny Sherman, born January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? What is this? You're taking a survey, you're trying to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he was numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. There. See that key? Just need to find a way through. And read what it says. Rod is going to set in. Right. That's it. What? But since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. it it's decay. Old house, island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood, could be huh. anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. Can I climb up the ladder? Dude, what is with the breathing so hard? I could do a jump, but never mind.
That's boarded up and locked. Hey, there's something here. Oh, that one was worth five. Okay, so they got ones worth different amounts. So that takes you across there, but we need to go across this gap. I like how they made each character have like their own utilities. He has a gimbal. Charles is an ass. You know, the various things that make the characters them. Charles lockpicks. This should work. Mark? You okay in there? I'll be right back. You need to be wearing like breathing protection in a house like this. It's locked. Balcony. Got it. I go out the door. There's got to be a way through. My vertigo is saying otherwise. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Possessions belonging to the victims of H.H. H. Holmes. Yeah, those are Marie and Jeff. Kate, check this out. It's his hat. Who? H.H. H. Holmes. Fuck! 
You that fucking can sucks. <laughs> I just, this fucking thing popped out of nowhere. <laughs> See? What is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. <sighs> it can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. It scared me once. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on. Let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Oh, I didn't think it would force us hey, to go. Be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? That's how directors have to be. It's their job. They have a vision. Ego has to play into it a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. That no, is true. Imagine if you were in his shoes, 40 something, still waiting for your big break. Kate, this show is the closest he'll ever have to success. I guess. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. Good for you. That's. That's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That. Sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonit Entertainment. And Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonit employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Great. Happy? You have a future, and now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. Wonder what I missed out on. So you're sewing a mannequin. Hey guys. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just poor Mark. Let's all just relax. We just sat down, give the man a moment. He's the host. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right Dumet? with you. Dumet? Yeah, that dude ain't coming. Wait. What? Why? You saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. He must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense.
They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm sure I didn't decide with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he stitched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you... You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh God, Shit. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping, okay? It's probably Fine. true. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. The bitch of it is, I did find a machine, but just like everything else in this fucking place, it's ancient and broken. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true lawn and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. <sighs> now, I would like to toast all of you. Really? I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of 10. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. Oh, that's sweet. Interested. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. 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 To us. Mazel tov. Hip hip hooray. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure, if we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. Nah. There's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. What was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? If he tells us to stop, I'm going to be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I love to hear that. Shouldn't take me long at all. 
Great. 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 Apparently we did good, because Charlie could have lost it. They have a Kate doll. Is this a Charlie? It is a Charlie doll. Something about the eyes. She has a audio thing. Aim in the direction I'll find the source of the noise. Charlie's next door to you. This has already changed. Because 180, 181, 183 was right there. Good for her. Very deep, Your Honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me. Trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. Yeah, the walls change, because this was the pathway we came in, 100%. I don't want you to worry.
Yeah. I can do it. The fucking shit's moving. Something else. I swear, every time you hear that, something's changed. You hear everything moving around on the walls. Dude, talk about fucking nightmare fuel over here. We're totally about to have a jump scare. My own sister, song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. Hey, going into that does not look at all. That looks like a fucking trap. Yeah. Guess there's nothing else to do. Oh no, look at this. Screen with Aaron first. Damn it. Breakers. I find it odd that y'all are all split up. I mean, don't you ever watch Scooby Doo? You never split the gang up.
That has changed. It was at 179, now it's at 180. Did somebody die? Is that a kill count? That's worth 21. Mr. Demet? This looks like a trap, too. Like Grand it's time opening. to join the 21st century, guys. Half an hour to winter sun pool opening hours have changed. Ten to five. Phoenix security name ever zero four five one digital lock. Yeah, Richardson, Mr. and Mrs. Mark Edwards, East Third Lighthouse Lake Eight. As instructed by you, you made the requested amendment to your will. Autosile has been added, which states that both your deaths, the sole beneficiary of your empire, stays Mr. Richard Becknip. We recommend that a copy of this letter is given to your legal representative for records. Please remember you can view any of your will or life insurance documents anytime by logging into your online account. Wait, wait, no, no, don't go in. Be locked, all right. Great. Enter the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a duck about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. Choices, Jamie. Enjoy your memorabilia. Better choices. Do that killer. This is your own damn fault. And a cat. Wow. Yeah, Mrs. Mr. Clark, Mr. Belknap has requested further renovations to the hotel spa. We're currently negotiating a formal contract that would allow the remaining crew to conduct cost assessment. Mr. Belknap can provide a detailed breakdown of the work he wants. Once your report has been received, we'll arrange for a replacement crew to alleviate you and your team for a period. Then, term, please continue to adhere to the terms stipulated in the non disclosure agreement to treat this period as an extension of the previous contract. Wait, wait. Head back up. Is there anything I could flip over? 
Yes. Jesse, plans and specifications, Laura Electronics, Frank, Engineering, Monica, Permits, Logistics, Ryan, Excavation, and Demolition. Information regarding hotel property for the purpose of converting to a tourist direction. Review your latest design estimates and contract or work necessary. Please find an overall breakdown of the work as well as an estimate and total cost. Work can commence Tuesday, 13th of January and will take 10 weeks. Friday, March 24th. Wow. Extension and strengthening your rooms to accumulate machinery for moving parts. 10 weeks. 560. Wait. 10 weeks, 560. At 240,000. Various remote receivers installed across the hotel. Pipe work. That's a lot of money. Right. Oh, thank God, something from this century. There's something creepy going on right there. back here. I guess we'll go check out the creepy shit. And doors close. I 
press the red button. The hell? He stopped when I came up. That's questionable. The eyes just look so odd. That one's looking at me. It totally is. Damn it! Hold it. Our right one was off. They're all off. I had to build my own little castle, just like Holmes did. Most people like me do their business where their target lives. That's just asking to get caught. Holmes had the right idea. It's all about the honey trap. You bring me some smokes, like I asked? Lucky Reds? Yes. Oh, these are like gold in here. Damn, that's good. So, yeah. A honeypot. Holmes built a hotel about a mile from the World's Fair and called it the World's Fair Hotel and bought ad space in papers alongside ads for the expo. Groups from far and wide assumed it was the official hotel. Come on, Pa Kettle. Take a train in from... Nebraska. Takes three days. They roll up into that joint ready to rest, get to their room, and whoops. What do you know? Holmes had a gas pipe hidden under the bed and poisons them. Or maybe he pulls a trap door on them. Maybe he separates them and makes one watch through a window while he slits the other's throat. That's the advantage of a honeypot. No shortage of targets. <laughs> That's why I picked all those houses north of the airport. That whole neighborhood was scheduled for demolition, and yet all those lovely realtor ladies must not have gotten the memo. Call up as a contractor. Tell them I'm flipping. Have them meet me out there. And look at that. We're the only two people for miles. The first couple times I wait for a plane to fly over just to hide their screams, but after a while I realized they could scream as loud as they wanted. No one was gonna hear a thing. That's messed up. That's what I remember most. Those screams. You can try to understand why I am the way I am. 
You can forensic science up all the data you want. But you'll never know. You'll never know, Monday. You'll never really know how it feels when you watch the fire burn out of somebody. Damn. All right, so we're gonna call it there because I have a feeling we're going to a big thing right after this. Please like, comment, subscribe to the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. See you guys on the next episode. Have a wonderful day. God bless. See you soon.